Well, take a look at this gorgeous picture. Looks like a faraway paradise, doesn't it? But North Idaho resident Dawn Bess says she took this picture from her kayak this weekend. It was taken on Lake Fernan. A gorgeous shot there in a gorgeous day today. Very hot out there. We finally reached 90 degrees here in Spokane, but this is actually pretty late for us to be reaching those 90 degree temperatures. This is the latest that we've reached that since 2010. And if we hadn't hit that 90 degree temperature today, it would have been the latest since 2000. So even though it's been pretty warm, uh, this is actually fairly late for us to be hitting those 90 degrees. We've hit that in May before. Just took us a little bit longer this year than usual. We are not seeing too much activity happening on our satellite radar right now. We're just seeing those clear skies out there, very hot. However, things are going to be changing as some storms move in this evening. So we do have a red flag warning in effect from 10 p.m. tonight, and it runs until 10 a.m. tomorrow. We are seeing relatively dry conditions out there. Those storms are going to be forming around Moses Lake in the Columbia Basin and moving north and east into the Spokane area. We'll also see them into northeastern Washington and the northern Idaho Panhandle. However, in those areas, it doesn't look like the chance of a fire starting is nearly as good. We are going to be seeing gusty winds, though, out of the southwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour, with gusts up to 50 miles per hour, expecting quite a few lightning strikes from this storm as well, as well as a little bit of wetter system than we saw uh, moving through the area on Friday night. So we do have a two on our impact scale for tonight to tomorrow. It's going to be light impacts most likely. Thunderstorms, breezy conditions, showers, and cooler temperatures through the day tomorrow. Our extended forecast is showing that things aren't looking to be too wet in the Columbia Basin and Spokane area. However, those lightning strikes could be forming uh, around 10 o'clock tonight, and then it's looking a little wetter into northeastern Washington and the northern Idaho Panhandle as we head into the day tomorrow. We're expecting those storms to linger around for a little while into the Spokane area around 10 a.m., and then a little bit longer into northeastern Washington and the Idaho Panhandle. Today we reached a high of 90 degrees, a low of 59 temperatures above average and not near that record high of 100 degrees. Our sunset at 848 p.m. Right now we're at 90 degrees and sunny in Spokane. 90 degrees and sunny also in Coeur d'Alene. Our lows this evening are going to be into the upper 50s, lower 60, 63 in the valley. 59 degrees in Coeur d'Alene and then our highs tomorrow into the mid to upper 70s. 79 in the valley, 77 in Coeur Lane, a few 80s out there, 82 in Omac, 83 in Moses Lake, and we're seeing 84 degrees down in Lewiston. And then we are starting to warm up into the 80s on Wednesday and Thursday, 83 degrees. And then we're back into the 90s on Friday, a hot day there, 91 degrees. And our temperatures into the mid 80s for the weekend, 84 and 85. We could see some breezy conditions this weekend as well.